thank you for inviting me for this uh, for, for today's speed engagement or for today's session. So I am tasked actually to discuss us um, and to share with you guys certain professions of uh, uh, the law sales, so, but um, para for us no, to have a better and clearer understanding of what law and sales is. I mean the professions are. Let's start from the very beginning. Okay, so right now I have two cameras. My primary camera is here. My secondary camera is here. So, depende, no? Baka kasi mahirap mag-edit kapag isa lang yung camera. For us to have, a, you know, better angle. No? Okay, so let's start with Article 1458. Basically, yung 1458 lang naman, nag-define lang yan, no? Kung ano nga ba ang contract of sale. Alright? So, let us read. Uh, 1458, by the contract of sale, one of the contracting parties obligates himself to transfer the ownership of and to deliver a determinate thing and the other to pay therefore the price certain in money or its equivalent. Second paragraph, a contract of sale may be absolute or conditional. So, as mentioned, that defines the contract of sale. No? We, we can see from that definition that there are two parties involved. Parties, parties. So basically, nandiyan si vendor and the vendor, or the buyer or the seller. Okay? So from that contract or from that definition, um, it establishes, na? it establishes that a contract of partnership is consensual in nature. Ano ibig sabihin ng consensual in nature? Consensual in nature because of the contract of partnership may be perfected by mere consent. E ano ba ang consent? Di ba? Uh, so obligations and contracts. Consent is a meeting of the minds. No? Consent is a meeting of the minds. That is a state of mind. No? There is a state of mind, yung existence may only be inferred doon sa confluence of two acts of the parties. Yung meeting of the minds na yan, paano ba nagkakaroon ng meeting of the minds? So meeting of the minds, pwedeng dalawa yan, no? Uh, meeting of the minds, pwede magkaroon ng meeting of the minds either impliedly or expressly. From that definition, makikita natin, no? Yung characteristics of a contract of sale. Okay? So, a contract of sale, guys, is then perfected by near consent. Kasi sabi niya, um... Uh, Wala, wala, siyang, wala, wala siyang profession that it has to comply with certain formalities for it to be valid. No? Ang sinabi lang niyo dyan is a contract of sale is uh, one of the contracting parties obligates no, to deliver and to transfer. No? So, it doesn't require any formalities based on the definition. So, because of that, one of the characteristics of a contract of sale is that it is consensual in character or consensual in nature. Meaning, it could be perfected by mere consent. No? Unlike other forms of contracts, kasi, katulad ng uh, real contracts, ano bang mga example ng real contracts, uh, yung contract of pledge, pwede rin yung contract of deposit. Bakit? Kasi, uh, yung perfection nila, nakadepende yan or magkakaroon lang ng perfection as a general rule upon delivery of the item or upon the delivery of the subject matter. Okay? So, ganun lang katisik. Consensually nature of contract of sale as a general rule. Right? Does it need to conform and to comply with certain formalities? No? Kasi wala, sinasabi yung batas. Based on that definition. Okay? So, next one is uh, bilateral. No? Bakit bilateral? Minsan, other books would say bilateral and reciprocal. No? Bakit? Kasi, uh, both parties, no? meron sila kanyang-kanyang obligation no? na nakadepende sa bawat isa. Okay? A contract of sale, mga kaibigan, is a recipro re uh, sorry, reciprocal uh, obligation. Bakit? Kasi yung seller dito, okay, inoobligan niyo yung kanyang sarili na mag-transfer ng ownership. Okay? Yung buyer naman, inoobligan niya ang kanyang sarili no? na magbayad ng price certain and money or its equivalent. Okay? So, um, another characteristic would be commutative. Bakit? Bakit committee yeah. Why? Why? It's committee Because yung values, usually, no? yung pinag-exchange na values are almost equivalent to each other. Okay? <laughs> Unless it's barter, no? Siyempre, malayo. Minsan malayo ang, ang disparity of the prices or of the values. But in a contract of sale, general rule is, or general presumption is, more or less yung values na in exchange na yan, uh, I mean, equivalent to each other. Okay? Another one is um, principal in character. Principal because it does not depend, no? It, is, it does not depend upon the um, existence of other contracts. Okay? Uh, what else? Um, uh, honorous. Honorous because there is valuable consideration that is given and given. Okay? Honorous in character. Uh, so whether it's with consensual, whether it's with bilateral, and reciprocal, commutative, uh, what else? In the principal. Under rules, and lastly, it's dominating character. Why? Because nominate, ibig sabihin, may pangalan siya, no? Provided that it's a good one. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Let's proceed sa, um, 
let's elements elements of a contract of sale ano ba yung elements okay yung elements na yung mga kaibigan na hati yan sa tatlo what are these elements okay of course yun ang importante essential okay walang contract of sale walang perfected contract of sale kung wala itong essential elements hindi kompleto walang perfected contract of sale pangalawa natural elements ano yung natural element Ay, later on yung mga botak na tapos yung accidental elements. Mga kaibigan, tandaan mo ang consensual elements. Katulad lang din ito, no? Dun sa obliquo ninyo. No? Ang essential elements yan, si Uzi lang. No? Consent object cost. Okay? Consent object cost. Minsan, ibang box would say, consent object price. Okay? Price lang yun, no? Yung consent, syempre, may hindi ko na-bind. So, yung object naman, yan yung determinate na pinag-uusapan dun sa kontrata ng, ng bentahan. No? Tapos yung price or um, cost or consideration, ito yung man or equivalent, no? Uh, pakatandaan mo lang na yung uh, price, yung price or uh, yung cost or consideration, hindi palaging pera yung pinag-uusapan. Minsan, half money, half certain, kunwari, uh, uh, equipment or property, ganyan-ganyan, no? So, depende. Ang gusto ko lang ma- ma- i-stress out doon is the price is not always have to be in money, okay? Okay, let's proceed with yung natural elements, no? So, ang natural elements naman mga kaibigan, ito yung uh, ina-assume natin na nandyan, no? kahit na hindi sila na-mention doon sa konsyata. Ex- ke- uh, e- exact na lang kung ito ay specifically excluded. Okay? Ano ba yung mga yun? Siyempre, yung mga warranty. Warranty against eviction and warranty against hidden defects. Warranty against eviction and warranty against hidden defects. Okay? So, these warranties, as a rule, if they are not excluded, they are presumed to exist. Okay? May, may, may time pa na in-excluded, yes. Katulad, kapag bumibili ka ng second-hand vehicle, nakalagay dyan, as is where is, diba? Okay? O bumibili ka rin ng house and land, as is where is, no? So, may mga ganyang specifically excluding certain warranties, no? So, yan yung natural elements. Tapos, and last, yung accidental elements. Ano yun? Yan yung mga other stipulations dun sa contracts. Katulad ng okay, magbabayad, venue of payment, sino tatanggap, and other stipulations no? na importante, no? na nakikita ng point is just important for that matter. Okay? So, okay. So, example, today is uh, September, today is September 15, kumari, as sold to be a specific car for uh, 500,000. As mentioned kanyang sa example, Uh, not agreed. The parties agreed that the delivery of the car shall be made on December 31, 2023 at uh, 111 Pine Street, Madaluyong City. No? And yung payment shall be done no? on December 31 also at Security Bank Pioneer. So, from there, what are the essential elements? Yung essential elements, we know it very well, it's the COC. COC, the consent of S and B. Ano yung oath? It's object no? or subject matter. Ano yung subject matter? The car, the specific car. Ano yung cost or consideration? The price of the car, which is 500,000. Diba? Sige na, example ko rin yan. So, that's why I'm not favorable with virtual sessions. Kasi ang hirap. Hindi ako nakapagsulat during speaking engagement. Punta naman tayo dun sa we're done with the sexual. So, let's proceed to natural elements. Ano yung natural elements? Yung natural elements na yan, since wala naman dun sa examples ko, or dun sa example ko, that specifically mentions exclusions of these provisions. Then therefore, yung warranties nandiyan. Ano yun? Uh, number one, uh, in case na makalaya siya, he shall be liable no? for eviction, against eviction. And uh, he warrants. No? Sino na gumawaran dito? Siyempre si seller. No? That the object matter in this case, and subject matter in this case, is free from any hidden defects no? or hidden fault or defects no? not declared and not known. No? Not known to be. Okay? Addition dyan, okay? kailangan at the time of delivery, dapat siya yung owner. Tandaan mo ha, it is not important no? na at the time the contract you sell is entered into, hindi importante na si seller ang may-ari ng no? object na pinag-uusapan. No? Ang importante is at the time okay, na i-deliver niya or i-transfer niya yung ownership of a particular or specific thing to the buyer, kailangan siya yung owner. Okay? So again, eviction, warranty against eviction, warranty against it and defects, so, And at the time of sale, okay, siya dapat or meron siyang capacity to deliver and to transfer ownership to the buyer. Okay? 
ano yung accidental elements. Siyempre yung, yung stipulation kanina, um, uh, the, the stipulation kanina that uh, the delivery of the car shall be made on December 31, 2023 at uh, 111 Pine Street, Mandaluyong. Diba? Tapos yung date of payment, saan? Kailan at saan? December 31, 2023 and security bank, pahini ng Mandaluyong City. Yung accidental elements. Right? So, yun na. Basic. Diba? Thank you. Um, we're done with essential elements. Okay, I'm so sorry for that. Okay, next one is stages. Stages in contract of sale. Ano ba yung sta stages natin? Siyempre, preparation, perfection, consummation. No? So, books, no? other authors, no? Ginag ginagamitan niya ng ibang term. Ha? Kung mara, preparation, ibang term dyan, negotiation. No? Uh, perfection, minsan tawag dyan, birth. Yung consummation, ibang tawag din naman dyan is death or termination. or end of life of the contract. Diba? So, preparation, ito yung negotiation process. Perfection, ito yung meeting of the minds sa mga parties. What else? Yung consummation or debt, yan yung tapos na yung pag-deliver mo ng object at pagbayad mo ng price, ito yung money or it's equivalent. Ito, nata-terminate yung contract. Next thing, which is obligation. Okay? So, uh, tandaan mo lang, no? Ang perfection ng contract of sale should not, however, be confused with its consummation. Okay? Tandaan mo, sale by itself, no? Does not transfer or Take ownership. Okay? Uh, the most that sale does is create obligation na mag-transfer ka ng ownership to the other partner. Or to, to the other party. Okay? Tandaan mo, wag mali dito. Kasi there are a lot of MCQs na lilituhin ka dyan, no? Again, uh, yung perfection ng contract of sale should not be confused with consummation. Okay? Pag pumasok ka sa contract of sale, it does not transfer or affect ownership. It merely and in fact creates obligation. Okay, I hope that's clear. No, that's very clear because it's very basic. Yeah. So um, let's proceed with kinds of sale. No, ano ba mga kinds of sales? No, general classifications usually absolute and conditional lang naman yan. So ang absolute sale, walang condition na nakatatch. Kapag sinabi ng conditional sale, sale is subject to a contingent event. For example, uh, sale with right to repurchase. No, pwede rin, um uh, sale of things having potential existence. Pwede rin yun. Sale of future harvest, no? pwede rin. And, um, pwede rin sale of uh, residential house, no? eh, siyempre, except the uh, furniture inside. No? So, other classifications na binabagit minsan ng mga ibang books, no? yun yung as to the nature of uh, object matter, whether object is tangible or intangible, no? but generally, it's just absolute and conditional sale. Again, absolute, walang condition na naka-attach, kapag conditional sale, may condition, no? condition kaya condition kasi may condition na naka-attach no Dahil subject to contingent event no um, example natin kanina right to purchase um, sale of future harvest no tandaan mo ha, sale of future inheritance is void okay so, madadaan natin later on no so um, uh, what else okay this one talks about dakion and pago ano yung dakion and pago or relation and payment no Ano ang pinagkaiba niya sa contract of sale? Tandaan mo, doon sa sale, contract of sale, there is no pre-existing credit or obligation. Kaya nga principal contract siya, di ba? Okay? Whereas doon sa dasyon and pago, may pre-existing credit. Pangalawa, ito, very basic eh, na dapat alam na natin, no? yung contract of sale, nagkikreate din ng obligation. Okay? Whereas in dasyon and pago, nagkakaroon ng extinguishment of the obligation. Okay? Um, another point, no? is uh, doon kasi sa sale uh, yung consideration or the cost of the contract is the price whereas doon sa dasyon and pago yung cost is the extinguishment of the debtor's obligation okay kasi yan yung time na ako takana hindi ko na mabayaran diba okay ito na lang yung property ko ito na lang pabayad ko sa inyo okay ano naman yung pinagkaiba ng uh, kasi other books sinasabi na hindi nidistinguish ito from list okay It's from list naman uh, basically doon sa Doon sa contract of sale, mga kaibigan, yung seller nagtatransfer ng ownership doon sa buyer, correct? Whereas doon sa contract of lease, uh, what merely transferred is yung possession of the thing leased by the lessee. To the, uh, by the lessor to the lessee. Okay? So walang transfer of ownership. Ang pinatransfer lang doon is possession. Unlike yung contract of sale, ownership ang pinatransfer. Unlike yung sa lease, possession lang. Right? 